We welcome you to Noche Enabia here on 2K Sports. From the attire to the food, the players' jerseys, tonight, a celebration of the Latin culture. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. Let's see the stat sheet here for Luka Doncic. And their analytics department won't be happy with the dip in his effective field goal percentage this month. He's not taking the smart shots he was earlier in the season. Maybe trying to do a little bit too much. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge down on the sideline. David? Thank you, Kevin. In this era of player empowerment, it's often the star's prerogative to change teams. And so often, they choose the destination markets. For the small market teams, that leaves one option. Draft your superstar and build around him quickly. Because, guys, that clock is ticking faster than ever. It always does. Thank you, D.A. And tonight's game, like so many, could come down to the three-point shooting for each team. Greg, there are debates as to whether that style alone can win you a championship in the NBA. Well, Kevin, there's never a substitute for balance. And coaches and players are too smart. You have to keep your opponents guessing. But leave no doubt, the three-pointer is here to stay. Now Golden State's starting five. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. Wiggins is out there with Leisman. And for the Mavericks. And the post players for him, Kleba and Porzingis. Burke is out there with Doncic. And it's Hardaway in at the three slot. Now here's Curry. Look at those numbers of his. You, you just can't say enough about the work he's doing at the offensive end. He's averaging about 30 and a half points a game. Now Doncic after the missed three from Clay Thompson. And the shot goes down. Nice recognition there by Porzingis. He's getting better and better as a passer. Here's Curry. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first. It's on Luka Doncic. First yeah, team easy foul. call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the Shooting way over here State. where we are. Stephen Curry. Yeah, something we've seen Taking the last few shots. years. Boxing ones thrown at Curry although they've had mixed success. That's good from Stephen Curry. And amazing to even consider using a box in one in the NBA, isn't it, Greg? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I, I agree. And it, it did work well in the 2019 Finals. Curry has started to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has other options on offense. Stephen Curry hits them both. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Right side, Porzingis. Back to Doncic. Outside, Hardaway. Porzingis with a screen on Thompson. Just five on the clock. Hardaway for three. Offensive rebound. Porzingis kicks to Hardaway. Porzingis sets the pick for Hardaway. Plays again. Basket good. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. Now here's Curry. His last outing, he had 24 points. Thompson misses. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Doncic with it. He's covered by Wiseman. Back to Hardaway. To the wing right side. A three from Porzingis. The shot will not fall. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Coming off that win against Minnesota. Yeah, and in that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. And the hustle they showed on that end was, was infectious, contagious. I mean, their squad really got after it. Now Bullock, after the miss three from Stephen Curry. Rodgers outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Golden State's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Wiggins passes to Curry. And Reggie Bullock gets the whistle that time. Reggie Bullock. That is his first That's foul his of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. Nice 
Wiseman, the pass to Wiggins. Back to Wiseman. Out of bounds, Dallas takes possession. It's getting late in the season. Let's see how the standings are out west. You take a look at the Warriors. If the playoffs started today, they'd hold the number five seed. Of course, they're looking to build on that. And, of course, the Mavericks. They're just sitting one spot down right on their heels. And, guys, for the Warriors, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. You know, I thought maybe they'd have it in them to actually join those leaders this season. But you're right. It's still nice work considering where they are. Now Thompson, after Luka Doncic's three-pointer that didn't go. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Dallas moving the ball around. Now here's Bullock. He's covered by Thompson. Bullock kicks to Porzingis. Six to shoot. From about 16. No good that time. The Warriors go the other way. First quarter of action. Just under three and a half minutes played. Thompson inside the line. Misses off the left eye. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Now, here's Bullock. He's covered by Thompson. Fires high post. Here's Persingas. Pass to Kleba. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Green. Curry against Doncic. Trying to get something going. Curry's shot is good. And that ties it up. Quite simply, Stephen Curry is the best jump shooter in the history of our great game. And I don't know if it's even a debate. Ladies and gentlemen, your Mavericks dance team. teams that are leading the league in blocks. Second, the Warriors. Fifth, the Mavericks. And these teams have both hung their hat on their defense, especially in the paint. We're looking at two of the premier shot blocking teams in our league. Doncic against Curry. On the wing, Hardaway. Six on the shot clock. 13 feet away. Wiggins with the block. Great read that time by Wiggins, anticipating the shot. Sends it out with return to sender postage. And it goes out of bounds. That went off for Zingas. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And an early swat like that can really set the top. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Dorian Finney-Smith checked in for Dallas. Thompson finds Wiseman. 
Green with a screen on Doncic. Here's Curry. Out to Thompson. Shot clock at five. Shoots it. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. And Greg, as we near the end of the regular season, some call these the dog days of the year. Winning teams ready for the playoffs and the lottery teams sometimes ready to call it a day. Well, a lot of teams still have something to play for, whether it's fighting to make the playoffs or seeding. These Shoot games two. do count. First free throw is good. You know, as good as Porzingis has been, you know, I still think he has a lot of room to grow. Not literally, I'm speaking figuratively here. As a rebounder, as a shot blocker, and I think scoring with his back to the basket is another area of growth for him, too. Brown is checked in for Dallas. And so he makes both from the line. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Curry passes to Thompson. Again, the miss by Thompson. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Sinks the three-pointer. Doncic has got five now. Offensively, there's nothing Doncic can't do. I mean, consistency with the three ball being one of the few things left that he has to refine. Now here's Wiseman. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. He kicks it to Wiggins. There's Green with the three. It's rebounded by Persingas. Persingas has got his fifth rebound in this one. The dish to Doncic. Back to Porzingis. Dallas moving the ball around. With the fadeaway. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. You know, Luka's one of those players where the mid-range shot is really a weapon. Not just an afterthought. I mean, he is lights out from that distance. in for Pazinkas. Mike Powell comes in for Maxi Kleba. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Doncic. Different look here for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Wiseman. Bialica comes in for Green. Andre Gudala. He's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. Moody subbed in for Clay Thompson. Warriors trail by five. Curry kicks it to Looney. Bialica passes it to Curry. Here's Looney. He's covered by Brown. Igudala outside. It's Curry outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from Andre Igudala. Curry's got seven points. Curry's release is so quick as a defender. You can't afford to give him any space. You can't lay off at all. 
Brown finds Brunson. Basket counts. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Golden State's gone a meager 1 of 6 from three point land since we got started tonight. Curry on the wing. And the foul on Dorian Finney Smith. Dorian Finney Smith. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Looney passes it to Bialica. Curry on the wing. Runs in covering. Shot clock at six. Runs in against Curry. That shot misses. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. They're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Has to finish Smith. It's Powell on the wing. Dishes to Brown. Just five to shoot. Brunson with it, and it's Iguodala picking him up. Brunson, no good. Warriors trail by four. Bialica passes to Curry. Bialica against Powell. Iguodala with a screen on Brown. To the middle. And Andre Iguodala with the slam. It's clear that Iguodala loves to dunk. Give him room to take off, and he's going to finish with authority. Brown kicks to finish Smith. Two minutes remaining in the first. And there's the pass to Brunson. Another three for Dallas. Already finding his spots and capitalizing. Playing really efficient basketball. The Warriors shooting 31% here early on. Not getting the shots they'd like. Well, one year at Virginia Tech and three more at Florida for Dorian Finney-Smith before going undrafted in 2016. Well, Greg, you think about it. He also had a year in college, an extra year because he transferred. So that may have scared some teams off his age and how long he spent in college. But I tell you what, if you're a pro and you've got pro ability and pro attitude, it's going to come out. And he's made an impact in the NBA from day one. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. And the Mavericks making a change here. Collie Stein's checked in. And the Warriors also making a change. Kaminga's checked in. Arguably the most impactful player in modern NBA history. Stephen Curry has changed how the game is played, really making this more of a three-point shooting league. Now, here's Brown. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Back to Brunson. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Nice start as he's knocked down three of his first four and has hit the ground at high speed. Curry deciding where to go with it. Here he goes. The Mavericks pull it in. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Yeah, on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. And, you know, one of the things about missing free throws is not only are you not getting points yourself, but it allows the other team to maintain momentum or keep a rally going. Brunson, no good. Warriors trail by four. Kaminga, the pass to Moody. Curry on the wing. Brunson covering. Outside Curry. He can't get that one to fall. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Mavericks lead by four. 
And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And this Warriors team has an interesting mix of championship vets with hungry young players. Andrew Wiggins spoke about that great dynamic. The best on our team love to teach. The good player, they're always telling us why we did it, why you should do this, why you should do that. So it's been a lot of learning and also been very exciting uh, for the young players. Agreed. No doubt Wiggins has been soaking up that wisdom. Craig stepping up his game in the process. Yeah, a big culture shift coming from Minnesota. And he's blossomed under the tutelage of these Hall of Famers. And we welcome you back to our special Noche Latina broadcast. As the second quarter getting going right now. And what do you think, guys, about Dallas here in this one? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Hardaway and Porzingis in at the forward slot. Donchich out there with Reggie Bullock, and it's Collie Stein in at the five spot. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Oof, ugly second quarter for him, and now I think he's starting to really force the issue. Pass to Weisner. Wiggins outside. Wiseman sets a screen for Wiggins. That's short off the rim. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Now, here's Bullock. Following the miss by Andrew Wiggins. Bullock with it. Wiseman picks him up. And the shot goes in from Chris Depps for Zingas. Really hard to guard Porzingis, especially when he's moving like this in the screen and roll. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Passes it to Wiseman. And stolen by Coley Stein. Outside, Porzingis. Down low. And it's in there. And now an eight-point Maverick lead. You know, as I watch Doncic, I think it's futile to try to distract this guy. His focus and concentration and control of himself is uh, excellent. Now here's Kaminga. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to Moody. Launches a three. Cauley Stein grabs the ball. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Kaminga's outside, and then Hardaway with the dunk. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Zingas passes to Cauley Stump. Doncic right side. And another basket for Dallas. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Kaminga, the pass to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Now the pass to Wiggins. Kaminga sends a screen for Wiggins. Pass to Moody. Shot to stop the run. Mavericks with the rebound. Persingas has got seven rebounds in the game. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Clay Thompson has lost two prime years to a torn ACL and then a ruptured Achilles. He says... So many athletes have been through this. It's just a new set of challenges. With my style of play, I feel I can be effective till my late 30s. I plan on being the all-NBA player I was and won't settle for anything less. 
Guys, that will be a great company for this team. Indeed, and who's going to doubt it? I love his attitude. Undaunted. David, thank you. Time out called the Warriors. Some super teams come together, Clark, on paper, and they look like sure things for the finals. But just how important are the other things, the intangible? Yeah, I think the intangibles, Kevin, are the most important things. When you talk about chemistry, trust, connectedness, those things just don't happen because you have great talent in three or four players. You have to have a team that's committed to one another and that trusts one another, and it takes time to build that into a championship caliber unit. So those intangibles are really important if you're going to win a championship. for Willie Cauley-Stein, and it's Maxi Kleba in for Przingis. Then for the Warriors, Andre Iguodala. He's checked in for Wiseman, and it's Clay Thompson in for Moody. the Warriors with the ball. Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. It's stolen by Green. Now here's Iguodala. He's guarded closely, trying to end the drought. Stolen by Bullock. Thompson against Hardaway. Donchich outside. A pointer. That's good again. His seventh basket. Seven for ten from the floor. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Thompson outside. Out to the wing. Kaminga kicks to Green. Five to shoot. Iguodala setting the pick for Green. And the Warriors miss again. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. They host the Kings after this game. And that's game two of this string of four games played at home. Outside Hardaway. And a miss there on the triple. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Passes to Green. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. It's rebounded by Dallas. Bullock with it. No points in the game yet for him. To the paint. Round the pass to Doncic. Green by Kleba. Here's Hardaway. Draymond Green pulls it in. Green's got four rebounds now tonight. Boy, this is uh, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. And in dropping that one, he stops a 13-0 run by Dallas. Dallas leading by 15. Dallas calls Dallas timeout. To Dallas.
look here. Dwight Powell's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Sterling Brown is checked in for Reggie Bullock. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Doncic. Then for the Warriors, Looney's checked in for Green. Biel Itza comes in for Kaminga. And it's Stephen Curry in for Andrew Wiggins. Finney Smith kicks to Brown. The pass to Powell. He dishes it to Brown. Six to shoot. Brown the pass to Finney Smith. Powell for three. And Curry pulls it down. Warriors trail by 15. And Dwight Powell continuing his the combat. The ruptured Achilles three. back in 2020. And that injury now not the career ender it once was. Well said, Greg. Guys come back from that because of the advances in technology and training. And a credit to Powell that he's back and looking as tough and as impactful as ever. He's a guy that kind of holds the mortar together on team. Does a lot of the stuff that needs to be done. Golden State's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Thompson against Brown. Outside Curry. Fires for three. Another three for Second Golden State. Curry. Tell you what, it's just one of those nights where Curry finds a rhythm and just keeps on flowing. This show never gets over. Now here's Brunson. He's got seven. Brown outside. Inside. It's tipped. To the paint. And Thompson throws it down. Boy, the unselfishness of Eagle Dollar is really admirable. A forward with excellent vision has a feel for when one of his guys is open. Here's Brunson. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Round against Thompson. Down low. Just five on the clock. And it's the Warriors on the break. Misses the jumper. They can't get anything on the break. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end. And it's had a ripple effect on the team. Here's Brown. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Warriors. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive Shoot side. Two. Yeah, another thing they've done well, guys, is getting in the passing lanes. They've been active with their hands, feet have been in good position, and they've come up with a lot of steals. That's making a difference here, too. The first free throw is good. That one misses. And it's the Warriors ball. They're on a 10 to 1 run right now. Here's Igudala. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Now we have a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past several months for Andrew Wiggins. Oh, we're just not seeing that same freshness out of him defensively these last few months. He's lost a little bit of that intimidation factor. He's not blocking as many shots, and he's not making the same impact on that end of the floor. Free throw good, Iguodala. And while Iguodala might not be the star of any team he's on, he's always going to be a major contributor because he does so many things well on both ends. So one for two that time with the strike. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Now here's Brunson. He's got seven. Out 
against Curry. From deep three-point range, offensive rebound. Brown, good. And the Mavericks lead by nine. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Here's Looney. He's still scoreless so far in this one. He leads up, finds Curry over Brunson. Unable to get that one. And it's Dallas the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. Back to Brown. Powell with his screen on Thompson. Pass to Brunson. Fires the three. OT that time from Curry. Blocked by Brown. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Steve Kerr. Coach, what did the team do in that first half defensively? Just competed, you know, we have a very good defensive team and our guys are getting after. I think we've been a lot better defensively than we have offensively. And some of that defense has led to some transition and some open shots. Something your guys always fall back on. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Greetings, everybody. Before we delve into the first half analysis, let's bring you up to speed on the power rankings at this critical stage of the season. When I look at the Mavericks, they've been treading water for a long time. Has to be frustrating for everyone there. Ownership has promised these fans a title contender, but at this point, I don't see it. All right, now let's get into our game. It ended up being a strong first half for the Mavericks. They're getting into the lane whenever they want, getting some high percentage looks. I don't see the coaching staff switching up too much. Keep it simple. Force your opponent to adapt to you. And enough of our shenanigans. It's time to send you back courtside for the second half. Shenanigans. You know what, Chuck? You're a world-class rapper, platinum albums, blah, blah, blah. Can you rap the word shenanigans in a rap? Of course. You ready? I'm ready. Let me introduce you to my two favorite friends. That's right, baby. We're back with our shenanigans. The pandemic ends and the fans come again. Back to b-ball. Y'all been famishing. Ooh, Ooh drop the mic. Bars. That was, bars. That was solid. Bars. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you, Ernie. Played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. He just loved the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Setting the floor for the Warriors. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. James Wiseman's out there with Wiggins. Hardaway passes to Persingas. Over Wiseman. And Wiseman sends it back. And on a per minute basis, Wiseman already gets a lot of blocks, and his defensive awareness will only improve with time. Doncic looking it over. Singas passes to Doncic. Balls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. Boy, once Doncic gets on the roll, there aren't many ways to slow him down. Huge night so far. With the step back. Thompson, high post. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Yeah, it's eight points for Clay Thompson. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. 
Doncic against Curry. Kleba sets the screen for Doncic. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Doncic has got five points in the quarter. Basically been all him. I mean, he scored most of the points himself. It's Curry outside. It's rebounded by Persingas. Persingas has got eight rebounds in this game. Doncic against Curry. And the whistle blows on the backward violation. He went over and back. Here's a look at some stats for Kristaps Porzingis. The past month has been surreal. Second in blocks, and he's a defensive ball hawk. You can't let your guard down. Remember, he's 10th in the league in steals per game. Mm -hmm. And as you said, one run below the leader in block shots. Tremendous motor. He, he's simply been destroying opponents in the lane. Now here's Green. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And normally more comfortable dishing it. Great to see Green there being aggressive, taking charge. The Warriors have gone four for five for the cherry stripe in this one up to now. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from break. the line. That's a Two solid shots. number to work with on the season. And he can't get the first one. What, he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and he sinks the second. When he keeps his emotions in check, Green is a fantastic leader on the court. He can run a little hot, but there's no doubting his drive, his willingness to do whatever it takes to win. Green against Kleba. Shot from 12. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. You can trust Luka to make the most of a close shot. I mean, he won't waste a high percentage look most times. Curry finds Wiseman. Back to Curry. Green against Kleba. To the inside. Doncic with the steal. Here we go. One on one. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Thank you, guys. We have seen today's athletes taking stands for social justice. All-star Bradley Beal says we understand there will be a backlash, but we don't care about that. I'm a human being, a citizen, just like everybody else. I have family and friends still living in those environments, and I'm their voice. Kevin? All right, David, thank you very much. Now, Burt, after the missed three from Stephen Curry. Hardaway for three. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got his sixth rebound on the night. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter that I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. Trey Burke. 
Kamingas come in for the Warriors. Moody comes in for Clay Thompson. Basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Doncic, no good. And that's really just not heads up basketball. Don't try a fadeaway when nobody's guarding you. Doncic against Curry. Wiggins left side. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, I tell you, when Wiggins foul. attacks now, good things seem to happen. Now a potential and one boy. This young fellow's got major talent. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he'd like. And guys, Find this has lanes. not been a season to lanes. remember for him at the free throw line. Certainly to this point. One misses for Wiggins. A decent free throw shooter is Wiggins. Trying to become more than that, though, given how often he gets himself to the line. Bullock passes to Hardaway. Dallas moving it around. There's the three. Warriors with the rebound. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if you be a little bit more selective. Golden State Ball. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not, not giving up Warriors. this lead. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Kevon Looney is checked in for Golden State. Pass to Wiggins. Driving to the basket. And he banks in the lane. Wiggins has got four points this quarter. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And Wiggins thrived as a secondary option. Seems that is the role he's best fit for. His efficiency soars. Curry fires from way outside. Misses the three. Mavericks leading by four. Here's Brunson. He's got seven. Doncic right side over Wiggins. And Doncic gets it to go. And that's now 25 points for Luka Doncic. And with Wiggins, he didn't face the same pressure break. It was a huge weight off his shoulder. And that mental aspect impacts the player. Wiggins was asked to do less. And as a result, ended up doing more. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Over in the corner, Doncic. And they double up Doncic. Porzingis with a screen on Wiggins. Five on the clock. Here's Bullock. Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got four rebounds now tonight. Now here's Wiggins. He's guarded by Bullock. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Wiggins. Three points. Curry's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. Brunson against Curry. Doncic left side. Over Bielitsa. And it's Doncic missing. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Wiseman finds Wiggins. He leads a screen on Brunson. Here's Wiggins. Ruzingas with the steal. Pass to Brunson. And the foul called on Kavon Looney. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Timeout charge to Dallas. Who's coming on to the 
court. Come on and get loud for your Maverick Stampede. Check in for Willie Cauley Stein. I Powell comes in for Persingas. Dorian Finney Smith's checked in for Doncic. And it's Sterling Brown in for Reggie Bullock. Andre Igudala is checked in for the Warriors. Smith passes to Brunson. Brown outside. To the middle. Powell. That's good. And the Mavericks lead by two. Dwight Powell really showing continuing confidence in his inside game. And I think he's only going to get better down there. Outside Curry. Looney down low. Brown on him. Blocked by Brown. Brunson scanning the floor. Brown outside. Down low. It's deflected. Wiggins outside. Wasted no time on that one. Wiggins has got six here in this quarter. For Dallas, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. Brunson kicks to Brown. Now here's Brunson. He has seven. Brown inside, guarded by Kerr. Yes, that goes in. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now, here's Bielitsi looking at his point production here, which is almost eight points a game. Here's Finney Smith. Runs in the basketball. And the whistle blow is going to be on Andre Iguodala. That's his first foul. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. The Warriors also with the sub. Thompson, he's checked in for Wiggins. There's a minute 47 left to play in the third. Dallas moving the ball around. Brown feeling it out a bit. Four on the shot clock. Fires the three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his fifth rebound in this one. Igudala, the pass to Kerr. Here's Looney. We've got 118 left to play in the third. Curry against Brunson. And taken away by Brown. And the pass to Brunson. Kicks to Brown. Pass to Brown. 
Over Bielitsa. Can't hit that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. In the corner, Iguodala with it. Back to Curry. Going inside. He gets that one. Stephen Curry. Curry's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Passes it to Brunson. For the three. Leaps for it. And the ball out of play. Golden the Warriors State will ball. inbound. Some changes Just for Golden State. For the Warriors. Green he's checked in for. Green Kavon Green. Looney. And Kamingu subbed in for Bialica. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Curry against Brunson. Outside Curry. Lock at six for the lead. They now take the lead. Stephen Curry. Curry's got 26 points. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Extremely impressive was the rally they made. I mean, we'll see how much their comeback might have taken out of them. And, and we'll see if they can keep that foot on the pedal now. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Warriors ahead. They lead by two. And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. On the floor for Dallas. And the post players for him. Kleba and Porzingis. Reggie Bullock is out there with Luka Doncic. And it's Hardaway in at the three. And here's Bullock from the arc. Andre Iguodala comes up with the rebound. Thompson in the corner. Shoots over Bullock. The shot by Thompson, no good. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. On the wing, Hardaway. Guarded by Kerr. Persingas with a screen on Thompson. Now, here's Bullock. He's covered by Thompson. Dallas needs to get off a shot. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got seven rebounds in the game. Back to Curry. Pass to Thompson. Over Hardaway. And it's Thompson that time on the assist by Curry. Curry's got six assists in the game. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Doncic. High quality look, and he sinks it. Doncic has got 27 points. Boy, it's so impressive to see Doncic at his size handle the ball the way he does. As a defender, he can really put you on your heels. The pass to Thompson. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Persingas has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Now, here's Bullock. He's covered by Iguodala. So they take the lead. Doncic has got 30 points. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. All right, man. Get on your feet and make your dog take your time. All right. Look who's coming on the court. Come on and get loud for your Patrick Dance game.
Ryan has updated from the sideline. Let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. He talked about X's and O's, but he also said, hey, guys, we got to trust each other, stick together, and leave it all out on the floor. We'll see if they've got enough left to get over the top, Kevin. And so here is Golden State. They trail by one. Thompson surveying the floor. Here's Curry with the three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Anytime Curry gets a look from deep, he's letting it fly. And he's probably knocking it down, too. On Chick's left side. The Warriors pull it in. the wing Wiggins and by Hardaway and it's Wiggins missing Mavericks have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter back to Doncic spins drives to the hoop Wiggins with some nice deep the defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. And Maxi Kleba is going to pick up the foul. That's his first that is his first foul of the game. Mavericks making a switch here. Finney Smith's checked in. Dorian Finney Smith. Doncic against Curry. From downtown, and again, it's the Warriors missing. The Mavericks trailing. Pass to Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Porzingis kicks to Doncic. Six to shoot. And it goes down, two points. Doncic has got the game tied up here for the man. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full of that. Pretty clear as smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. And the Warriors miss again. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Some nice passing here by Dallas. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. To the wing on the left. Benny Smith passes to Kleba. Six on the shot clock. Persingas with a screen on Kirk. And here's Doncic from the arc. A shot, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. And Thompson kicks to Kirk. Back to Thompson. Higgins outside. to Thompson from past the arc hits the three-point bomb Thompson's got five points now in the quarter and perimeter scoring I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime certain I mean they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it now with it Heisman picks him up and the dunk by Porzingis and guys they know he's going to finish off the lob in style Porzingis and his teammates connecting on target. Thompson outside. And it's Thompson again missing. Dallas has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Doncic against Curry. Doncic outside to take the lead. Wiggins with the rebound. Wiggins has got his fourth rebound in this one. Curry way outside. It's rebounded by Dallas. Kleber's got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside Hardaway. Passes it to Persingas. Out left to the wing. Hardaway with it. Persingas with a screen on top. Hardaway for three. Wiggins with the rebound. 
Wiggins has got rebound number five here tonight. Thompson for three. That ball's nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his third assist on the night. Wiggins against Hardaway. Over in the corner, Doncic. And they double up Doncic. Hardaway, that's a two-pointer. Dallas again missing. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Curry passes to Wiggins. Wiseman kicks to Curry. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. It's on Luka Doncic. And that's what Curry will do for you. Force the defender to commit, absorb the contact, and get to the line. Three shots. Three shots. And he hits the first of three. Rounds checked in for Maxi Kleba. Second free throw, good. It's good, and he's 100% from the line thus far. Dallas has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Hardaway dishes to Doncic. They get it again. Finney Smith passes to Brown. Wiggins surveying the floor. Green with a screen on Persingas. And it's Wiggins missing. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. And Wiseman gets it to go on the assist by Wiggins. Wiggins has got four assists now tonight. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Warriors. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And, and also, how about the points they've got in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Here's Golden State. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Here's Curry. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Curry's got the lead up to 11 now for the Warriors. You know, at close range, Curry has a plethora of shots. You simply can't allow him to get those looks. Present the New Balance Player of the Game. 
Stephen Curry. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over. Here's Doncic. Looking to end the run, and no good. Trying to use the glass. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Curry against Doncic. Curry's got 10 points in the quarter. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. And that'll be Dallas as it goes out of bounds. Mavericks retain possession. One nineteen left in the fourth quarter. The kick out to Brown. Shot clock at six. Porzingis with a screen on Kirk. And Doncic gets it to go. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for the Warriors. Play I think the attitude was very Please. impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And for the year now, they'll ramp up their win total to an even 40. And you can break out the brooms, ladies and gentlemen. They found a way to defeat this opponent all four games this year, finishing out a clean sweep for their season series against the Mavericks. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Stephen Curry. Boy, this game really had his name all over it. I mean, he relished being the guy to carry the load offensively. Warrior substitution. Thompson for three. It's hauled in by Brown. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Brunson. Got a piece of it. And he gets it back. Brunson against Thompson. He kicks it to Kaminga. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And can you pull out the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Stefan. I know you're a great shooter, but when you have it going like that tonight, what goes through your mind? There's not much thought, to be honest. It's just shooting for confidence and uh, living with the results. So I mean, there are a lot of tough shots, but it's ones that I practice all the time and uh, feel like when I take it, I'm expecting to make it. So it's nice to get on a little run the way the game started. For us to fight back and get this win, that was crazy. Yeah, but you were the calm in the storm, man. Congrats on the win. Thanks. Back to you guys. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.